Benicia is one of California's best kept secrets, known as the hidden gem of the Bay Area or the jewel of Solano County. It was named after the Mexican General Vallejo, who sold the land in 1847 and asked that it be named after his wife, Francesca Benicia. Some say the first word of gold found at Sutter's Mill was leaked at a Benicia tavern, thus starting the gold rush. The first block is 1970, the next block is around 1940, and then the final waterfront area is like 1890. So it'll get uh, further back in time, all the way to horse and buggies. In 1853, Benicia became California's third state capital, which lasted a short 13 months before the governor decided to move the capital to his hometown of Sacramento. In the 1850s, the Arsenal became the first supply depot on the West Coast, supplying the Army with ammunition and other supplies for over 100 years. This area was also part of a short-lived military project to use camels as pack animals. Thus, the camel barn was erected as a stable. Benicia also has a very colorful past. It is said that during the gold rush days, a proper lady would never step foot south of F Street. This area was notorious for its brothel houses, which lasted all the way up until the early 1960s. With only 14 square miles and a population of less than 30,000, you'll be surprised at how much this town has to offer. First Street is packed with delicious restaurants and bars and all kinds of fun shops. Scattered amongst the restaurants, boutiques, and antique shops, you'll find several art galleries in Benicia. It's hard not to agree with the motto, it's better in Benicia, with all there is to do and see in this lovely town. From boutiques and restaurants to art galleries and friendly faces, it's a wonder Benicia is known as the jewel of Solano County. You may want to check out Thursday's Farmer's Market, where you'll find an array of fresh fruits, vegetables, flowers, and food stands. Or maybe you're lucky to be here during one of our parades. Whatever the case, make sure to bring your camera to capture some of Benicia's true beauty. If it's recreational activities you're looking for, you've come to the right place. Whether you want to take a dip in the pool, play at the beach, or try your hand at windsurfing or paddleboarding, Benicia has it all. I'd say the most popular water activities here are kayaking, sailing, and kite surfing. During our windy months from May to mid-September, you can typically find a handful of kite surfers on the water at any given time. And on Thursdays, you wouldn't want to miss the sailboat races along the Carquina Strait. The shores are lined with fishermen when the salmon run. Okay, we're down here at Venetia. It is late September. We're throwing spinners for king salmon that uh, migrate through here and we're all hoping to get lucky and hook into a big one. Or any other time looking for striper, flounder, and sturgeon. If it's a nice stroll or bike ride you're looking for, you may want to check out the Benicia State Park. The Arsenal is now Benicia's art hub with many talented artists both creating and living there. Kenneth Cook, I'm the artist of this piece. It's one of the pieces in my Sierra series where I've been painting um, my feelings and impressions about the uh, Sierra Nevada mountain. 
Glass blowing is what Benicia is best known for. Here you can watch the artist as he creates beautiful glass pieces, or if you prefer, you can make your own hand-blown glass ornament. We also have a lot of local musicians and award-winning middle school and high school bands. A lot of published authors and storytellers live in Benicia, including my book Wildflower, which will come out by the end of this year. So I hope you enjoyed my video on Benicia, and thank you for watching. For more travel and woodworking videos, please subscribe to my channel. Ciao for now!